and uh, we will just start a meeting and um, I'd like to officially uh, welcome you all to uh, to this last fellowship assembly for uh, Rotary year uh, 2018-19 and this is a special broadcast from Studio Reco <laughs> and in the future we will see more of these with different backgrounds and different other other locations and stuff like that. Bryce has all kinds of ideas on how to go forward with that. My name is Peter Denoy. I am president-elect of the uh, the Rotary Club of Canada One, and uh, with me is our my host Bryce Lambert, whose studio is in the basement of his house, and this is the most professional studio I've ever been in. And the only thing missing has been the makeup girl to make my, you know, my face better. So you'll have to put up with me the way I'm, I am. <laughs> I'd like to go around and, uh, uh, Judy, did you do all the introductions already or are you gonna do that again? Can you do that again? Everyone's just waving, so. Okay. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Hi, hi, Randy. Hi there. Randy also Ellie. Sherwood Park. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Randy. Yeah. Okay, who else? Charlie Tewson, Sherwood Park Rotary Club. Charlie Tewson, okay. Hi, Mary Drader, Rotary Club of Drayton Valley. Oh, hi, Mary. Hello, Mary. How are you? You're great. Thing. Okay. That, okay. Well, they, they were just sponsors, but that still counts. So. Okay. Very good. Simon, would you mind introducing yourself, please? Uh, my name is Simon Borsman. I'm the assistant governor here, in, and I'm going to be your assistant governor this year. So, and I live in uh, Morneville. Okay. Well, it's close by because we just meet virtually, so that's not a problem. Yeah. Awesome. Right David. David Warrett, past president, and uh, I'm in Cochrane, uh, Southern Alberta. Ellie? I'm Ellie Contreras, past district governor, past president, and I'm living in Los Soyuz at the moment. Wow. All right, Kitty. I'm Kitty Butchko. Hey. Oh, you lost your sound. The, uh, lost your sound, Kitty. <laughs> okay. Jean-Michel. Okay, so I'll go with yeah. Jean-Michel, you're muted. No. Not? I was just installing an update. Sorry about this. <laughs> uh, Jean-Michel from the uh, from Calgary and Treasurer of the E Club. All right. Yes, go ahead. Um Marilyn is next, yes. Hi everyone, this is Marilyn Mucha. I'm with the Rotary Club of Edmonton White Avenue. I am your assistant governor for a few more days, weeks, until I hand over to Simon. You've been in, uh, you'll be in great hands. Thank you Thanks, for inviting. Okay, Kitty, can you try again? No. Okay, Vicky. Hi, I'm Vicky Horsfield and I'm in Guatemala. Okay, the land of the eternal spring. <laughs> All right, awesome. Jim Kenyon. Uh, Jim Kenyon, I'm in uh, beautiful downtown Rainy Whitehorse, land of eternal snow, it would appear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> okay, Janet. Hi, Janet Stead, I'm in Georgian Bay, Ontario. All right. Welcome, everybody. Can, Kitty, I, can, you, try. can you hear me now? Oh, uh, yes. yes. Uh, well, I'm Kitty Butchko, and I am uh, technically challenged, obviously, tonight. And I'm in Sarnia, Ontario, and I'm an associate member. All right. Thank you, everybody, for those introductions. And I, I'll turn the meeting over to, uh, to Ellie, who uh, has put a few things together for tonight. Can't hear you, Ellie. You're still muted, Ellie. Let me there share go. my screen. Yep. Good work. Set it on like There we go. Well, fellow Rotarians, 
It is my pleasure as co-founder of this eClub to provide a brief overview of this past Rotary year. And the uh, slide didn't go the way it was supposed to do. And welcome the new board into the upcoming Rotary year. Last year's leadership at international level was provided by RI President Barry Rassen from the Bahamas. Barry did an outstanding job and is very well liked. Barry asked us all to be the inspiration to help Rotary move from reaction to action, to take a hard look at the environment issues that affect health and welfare around the world and do what we can do to help. District 5370 was represented by District Governor Ingrid Nietzsche from Edmonton, Alberta. And we also have very fortunate to have Marilyn Mukas, who served us as um, assistant governor. She has provided excellent counsel to our club and has become a friend of many to, uh, to, to a friend to many of us. Our club has been very fortunate this year to have three Rotarians step forward serving as president when our president-elect uh, resigned, each of them for a four month term. From July 1st until October 31st, our president was Bruce Kleberger, who also served in this role in 2013-14. Bruce was followed by former treasurer Dave Warrett, David Warrett, who led our club from November 1st until February 28. Jim Ferguson closes off the year as president and on July 1st will start his term as district governor elect. This will be the first time in Rotary history that an e-clubber uh, will be taking on this role. I would be amiss if I did not mention our previous club leaders. Thanks to them, we have built a club that is seen as an example to other e-clubs around the world. A fact of which I, a founder, uh, a founding president, am, am very proud. Bruce Kleberger followed me with his excellent leadership style and handed over the gavel to uh, Doug Dyer as captain of our ship. And next is Jim Ferguson, who gained a lot of experience doing his year, during his year to prepare us, him for the future. Then Frank Yakimchuk and Lynn Tonoski followed, who both moved on to other clubs, passing on their experience in leadership. Our membership continues to grow across the globe, and we can expect even more growth as our club will be hosting the 2020 District Conference. Thank, thank you to those who have supported our club and its members and spreading the word. Before, before we move on to the new Rotary year, I'd like to read a letter from outgoing President Jim, who could not be here tonight, as he is returning. Actually, he should be he landed by now, but um, he was in Germany attending the International Convention. Dear fellow Rotarians, as we come to a close of this Rotary year, I send congratulations and thanks, thanks to you, our eClub members for another successful year. During the past year, we sent books to young children in the Beaufort Sea area uh, through our DPIL project, increasing literacy amongst the population in the far north. We supported students to rile and ripen for life-changing experiences. We supported the purchase of a new bus for Project Amigo in Mexico. We took part in a new project in Guatemala to clean up Lake Atitlan, vital to local health and the economy. Our e-club has been strengthened by new members and provided more flexibility with our associate member program. Many e-club members have pitched in and worked hard on committees. I wish to acknowledge two of these members in particular, Kitty Butchko in administration and Tammy Wow, our e-club secretary. Both have done outstanding jobs in their fields of expertise and are a real pleasure to work with. 
Also, a big thank you to my fellow 2018 and 2019 presidents, Bruce and David, for their outstanding leadership. It has been a real honor to serve with them. For incoming President Peter de Noy and his 2019-2020 team, I wish them the very best this coming Rotary year. Rotary truly connects the world. President Jim Ferguson. So our incoming president international is uh, Daniel Maloney, who will be leading us into the 2019-2020 Rotary year. Tracy Favrek will be serving us as our district governor and Tracy sends her best wishes to next year's leadership uh, team. And I now have the pleasure of introducing to you the 2019-20 Rotary E-Club of Canada One, President Peter de Noy. And Peter uh, will introduce you to next year's theme and, I will, and he will also introduce his leadership team for the E-Club. So Peter, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Ellie, and thanks for the kind words from everybody in regards to the previous board and presidents who did all the, you know, tremendous work during this last year. Um, in our process of uh, finding a new platform to communicate, I started doing some research in 2017 and uh, subsequently compiled the list of all email addresses of all the e-clubs in the world. And lo and behold, what is happening this year as I become president, our president international, uh, Rotary International chooses Rotary Connects the World. <laughs> and I already started that because that is an interesting subject that we can utilize to get other clubs involved, work together on processes and, and uh, different projects around the world. And <clears throat> The, the innovation of uh, the new approaches with e-clubs and the way we can communicate is starting to really uh, take effect within the Rotary world. And I think we will see a tremendous change and cooperation and uh, working together with other clubs throughout. And for instance, I attended training for president-elect uh, by staying home and connecting with Zoom at a district in, in North America where I attended their president-elect sessions. And none of the president-elects of that district had to travel. They have done that for a couple, of time, a couple of years and more of that will happen as well. So looking forward to actually Rotor to connect the world within Rotary and especially with the help of my my team, I am very pleased with the people that have stepped forward to come and uh, join us in leading this, uh, this, this year in our club, the Rotary E-Club of Canada One. First of all, uh, president-elect will be Biswanath Chagrabarti. I will get it straight one time yet. Uh, Biswanath is located in Yellowknife and he stepped forward to, uh, to act as president-elect this year. Next we will have, I don't know what your slide, next slide is. Yes, past president, immediate past president. I had three to choose from, but Jim is going to be district governor-elect and Bruce has done a, a lot of work as well. And David has never done anything in the past, so he said, okay, we'll have <laughs> David come and join us as the immediate past president. Thank you so much, David, for your continuous support for Rotary. Treasurer for a second year in a row will be Jean-Michel Crepin, and uh, again in Calgary. And both of these gentlemen I had the pleasure of getting together with uh, this last weekend when I was in Calgary uh, visiting and uh, we had a great meeting, great session and a great meal. Pictures are in the making to, to, be, to be published. Next, Tammy Wao will continue as secretary. Um, I was hoping on my trip between 
Calgary and Edmonton to meet with him, with her, as well as Frank Jakubczak. But uh, Tammy is away. I think she is in Europe attending some soccer games and uh, with her daughter. And Frank uh, was not there because his mother was gravely ill recently. And so he is in, he is in, in the, the north right now. Okay, we have an, next our directors. Can you throw them up? I can't hear you. Bear me, with me. I, with, bear with me. I have to change slides. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the wrong one. So we have. We will have four directors in uh, on our board. Two that will be as a second year, and two new directors that will be coming. Uh, fourth as well. But I'd like to, sh to talk about them when we have a picture. Well, it's not showing. You can't anyway, go down? There's, uh, there's something is wrong with my slides, but go ahead. Um, okay, and I don't have any slides. <laughs> <laughs> and it says that I'm sharing. But um, so Ellie, uh, Ellie will be uh, staying on as uh, uh, director for another year. Keith Evans from London will also be uh, director for a second year. And two new directors this year are K Jim Kenyon and uh, from uh, the North and uh, with Judy Brown from, well, different places. Right now it's Pigeon Lake. <laughs> <laughs> and in the winter will be Mexico, etc. Too. So yeah. I am very pleased with this uh, this team to uh, to be able to uh, look forward and start making some uh, some major steps forward uh, in the upcoming um, in the upcoming rotary year. Um, Kitty Buchko, Buchko will take on the chairmanship of the. Um, uh, administration. Thank you very much for that, Kitty, and we're looking forward to your leadership in that regard. Jim Canyon will be chairing the uh, Project Services Committee. Ali has volunteered to continue as a membership chair, and I'll let me quickly say something about that, because last night we had a meeting, which is one of the results of the, of the uh, e-clubs from around the world. We have uh, three times now uh, organized together uh, with Brian Carpenter from uh, one of the districts in Ontario, We've, we have organized leadership meetings with the presidents of e-clubs in North America. And Ali last night presented in an excellent way uh, about what we do as a club about new members and how to retain them, etc. So we're very pleased uh, with, with that, that she stays on with uh, getting new members into uh, into our, uh, our our club as well. There is Judy Brown and Jim Canyon, and um, yeah, just keep going. We're uh, at the the different chairs that I would like to mention yet too. And also, this is the organizational chart where there are some empty spots that don't have names that we need people to step forward. Somebody in international. Um, we have uh, Janet who will be, be chairing and working on DPIL and Judy will also do Project Amigo. Ken Hunter and Judy will be working on uh, the emergency relief. Very pleased to see Ken come, uh, come back and uh, uh, step forward to continue, continue that work as well. Um, we have a, a foundation, I don't know whether we passed that or not, but Gary Froud will, uh, together with Keith, Evans will do um, the foundation and uh, be the, uh, the committee for the foundation for our club. Okay, just go down a bit. Down some more. Yes, there we are. Uh, there we are. Yes. Uh, like I said, Kitty for uh, under administration. Um, and then uh, Jeff McFarlane will continue as chair for youth services. Um, Ethan will step up and start doing the social media and we will have to, you know, concentrate on that in the, in the future 
uh, with the social media to make, you know, again, with, uh, with help from, uh, from Bryce as well here to do that. So those are some of the committees that we still need uh, people to, come, uh, to, to step forward and, and join us and be active. And we, uh, one of the things that I'm looking forward to is that we have a full participation of all members to be on a committee. Because if you're a Rotarian, just being a member and paying dues is not enough to really act as a Rotarian should. And so besides all the other good things we do, working in committees uh, and coming up with newer ideas is a great, uh, is a great necessity that we have to work on within, within our club. But, you know, I found out last night, that's not something unique to our club and it's also not unique to e-clubs. Uh, in e-clubs, things are different. Terror clubs have issues, you know, with that as well. But we will try and work on that, improve our communication. Using Zoom is so simple that, uh, you know, it is not excuse not to be able to communicate with individuals. So, other thing that I would like to talk about for what I see for the upcoming year, uh, uh, you know, would be to... Um, to in, in work on our international projects. We have some big plans for a country called Guatemala. Not only because our own Vicky Horsfield is there, who has a tremendous project that we'd like to support uh, even more extensively than what we've done so far, uh, but also we did the initial steps on uh, for water and sanitation in dealing with the, uh, the Lake Atitlan project, which is a huge project that is going to happen for many years. Uh, but again, last weekend, we had a meeting with Bill Skinner from one of the clubs in uh, District 5360, where we will be combining and working on hopefully putting together a project of about $200,000 to help several communities in that part. So as part of that, I want you to start thinking about uh, making some time in January because we'd like to visit as a group with several people from our club to visit uh, the Guatemala and have a look and see what is actually happening and what we can do. Besides the international, there's other international projects that are in the making that we will be working on as well. Community service is something that a couple of years ago we did that each uh, different people had plans in their own community and did projects. And I think we want to expand on that. We will have funding available for uh, individuals that want to do a particular project in their area. And for that matter, I have contacted a road track club in San Juan de la Maguana, which will be celebrating 50 years of road track in this upcoming year. And so I urge them to come up with a project for that particular year and that maybe our club could participate as a community as it is in the community that I spent most of my time. Youth services is something that we want to continue working with as well. And as we have a great group of people in, the, uh, in, uh, in our team of the board, uh, there is undoubtedly other ideas and plans and processes that are going to come forward that we can that we can work on. So I want to leave it at that. I am really proud that I am and honored to be able to be the the chair of this uh, this team, the president of the club this year, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you uh, in the upcoming twelve months. Okay, am I muted? Um, oh, no, it? I am. You're <laughs> muted. Don't mute you. Well, thank you, Peter. I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, the next Rotary year. And uh, if timing is, uh, is good, we may want to go to Guatemala because for Mexico it would be um, easy to do. So anyway, uh, it is now my pleasure to uh, introduce Marilyn Muka, who has been a wonderful support to our club. And we're very happy that Marilyn was able to uh, make the time free to do the official part of the installation of officers. 
Uh, Marilyn is, as she said, she uh, is in uh, the Edmonton area and a member of uh, Edmonton White, um, White Avenue. White Avenue, yes, thank you. And um, Marilyn, it's all yours. Thank you, Ellie. First of all, I want to congratulate this club in general for embracing flexibility, because I think that's the key for Rotary going forward. You've already embarked on the e-club format, but to have three presidents in one year is probably also groundbreaking as well. So I applaud you for making that work. That's an important way to enable leadership to be spread around when there isn't somebody that'll take it on for the full year. So I thank you for that. And I, I want to also congratulate the past presidents, Jim, Bruce, and David for their work in this past year and their continued roles, of course, not only in the E-Club Canada One, but in the district. I have in front of me the official charge for the president, and I'm not too sure if David has, sorry, uh, yeah, David has a copy of that in front of him or whether I will be reading it and you're going to repeat after me, David. <laughs> Do you, do you have the charge in front of you? I think you mean Peter. You mean, I'm sorry, you Peter, mean Peter, Peter, Peter. Gosh, yeah. there you go. Peter, <laughs> Peter. No. Ah. Oh, they okay. look alike, you know. No, 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 no. My apologies. I, I was a surprise for David. I, I logged on an hour before just to make sure that I could get on. So I was talking to Peter before, so I don't know where my, uh, my midlife mind went. So I will read the official charge for the presidency. This is the oath for the president. And you can repeat after me, and I now will get your name right, Peter, my apologies. I, Peter Denoy. I, Peter Denoy. As president of the Rotary E-Club of Canada One. As president of the Rotary E-Club of Canada One. Will, to the best of my ability. Will, to the best of my ability. Administer the duties of the Office of President. Administer the duty of the Offices of President. In a business-like manner. In a business-like manner. And in accordance with the club's constitution and bylaws. And in accordance to the club's constitution and bylaws. So this is the official moment. You have your hand up. And you I have my hand up. Fantastic. But maybe you should not stop sharing the screen so you can see it too. I can see it. <laughs> You're there. Yeah. You're there. Okay, good. You are you are officially now as president, unless uh, you have not received the president pin from one of the past presidents, then that would make you totally official. No, I don't. I still have the president elect pin. I haven't lost oh. that. Oh no. Well, you have to pass that along, of course to your president-elect. <laughs> um, and I have the charge for all your officers and directors at this point. Now, I, I am a little remiss as to how we do this on mass, Ellie, so maybe coach me on this. I'm sorry. So I, I have the charge for all the officers and directors. And do we do this on mass as have everybody re sure. recite this? No? Sure. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Okay, so all of the officers and directors, hopefully you're all online and unmuted. <laughs> We're going to recite the charge for all officers and directors. And fill in your own name, we'll do them one at a time. Oaths for officers and directors, I. 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 And your name. Jean-Michel <laughs> Judy Brown. Ellie? Good, that's it. I did. That's it. Ellie, okay. no, no, no. sorry. Okay, yeah. Who else have we got? Do we have Jim Kenyon on? Yep. Excellent. Absolutely. Cooper. Do accept and understand the charges. Do accept do understand and understand accept the charges. the charges. Of the office to which I am elected. To the office to which I am elected. And will work with diligence. And we will work with diligence for the betterment of the club. For the betterment of the club. So you raise your hand and you swear to that. It has to be the right hand. <laughs> yeah, and, and have a drink the at the same right. time with the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we wish. 
you are duly installed as official officers for the year 2019-20 for the Rotary E-Club of Canada One. Congratulations to you all and have a wonderful year. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank that, you. Was, that was very official. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I will stop sharing now. I will miss I will miss your club, but I will continue to log in for makeup says Simon takes over for me. We will miss you too and we hope that you'll come to us always again soon. Yes, if I could do one little plug for flexibility, this Thursday, our district will be chartering a brand new club. It will be the YEG Passport Club. It is a totally new format, attracting 50% of our members are past Rotarians. And this is a format of Rotary that meets once a month and is uh, really given the liberty to work with any club, not only in our district, but anywhere around the world on projects, meetings and the like. And it is an affordable fashion, basically uh, costing about $21 a month. Mm. Mm. Sounds great. Yes. Silence. Okay. That's you, Peter. Okay. You have anything else planned? No. Well, not. <laughs> Not with this. <laughs> no fireworks. Well, we're having a thunderstorm here right now. Yeah, they're very common in that area. Yeah, in Edmonton. Yeah. Or I mean, Pigeon Lake. Over the lake, yeah. Yeah, I've experienced a few. Yeah. I hope your power doesn't go out. Me too. If it's like, if you lose me all of a sudden, you'll know why. No, oh, okay. All right. So we, uh, you know, if there's anything, first of all, I, I'm glad to see Simon and uh, we can have our uh, in discussions in Dutch. You know, that's always an easy one. And Ellie fit, fits right in with the Dutch as well and uh, move forward for there. But uh, Simon, I look forward to working with you in the, in the coming year. And, and again, Marilyn, thank you so much for what you have done for our club in the last uh, well couple of years and the different things that we've done move moved uh, forward with and um and you know building our club as well and uh, dealing with uh, some of the challenges that you know are new to uh, to rotary and e clubs in particular so i think we should just throw it open if there's any other particular things to talk about i want to mention one other thing because i i get the, uh, the Rotarian electronically, and it's not as far in advance as when you mail it. And so today, as a matter of fact, I just got a chance to open the July 2019 issue of the Canadian part of the Rotarian. And lo and behold, there is our own Vicky Horsfield, who has a whole page uh, mentioned in there too. And on top of that, Edmonton West had a page also. So. Uh, you know, Edmonton and, and our district uh, being featured in that as well. Uh, Vicky, congratulations. And uh, tell us a bit more. How the heck did you manage to get on that page? I, I had to pay a lot of money. <laughs> it, really, it really came out of a Rotary Club in Montreal who um, put together a grant to provide our families with water filters and um, propane stoves so that they wouldn't have to go up in the mountains to look for firewood. And it was the gentleman in that, the Rotarian in that club who contacted the editor and said, I want to tell you what we did and I want to tell you about this organization that we provided this, this project to. And so after the editor spoke to the fellow in Montreal, he called me and said, I want to do an article about, you know, what, what you're doing. And then I had an opportunity to tell him about all the support that our organization has received from different clubs, not only the one in, in Montreal, and also told him about the wonderful donation from my own club that went to um, help victims of the volcano from last year. So that's how it came about. And then Kitty wrote to me and said, oh, that was a great article. And I said, I haven't seen it because I get a paper <laughs> copy and it goes to my address in Montreal and I'm here. So I went, I went online and I changed my 
my subscription to a digital subscription so that I could look at it online. And they sent me a message today saying, yes, that'll start in August. <laughs> <laughs> we get both. Ramiro gets but, one. Yeah, and but I will, I, will send you the, I will send you the PDF as an attachment to an email and then well, you will have it because I downloaded it all on my computer. Yeah, so. Vicky, did you get the one I sent you? Yeah, I was, yeah. I was so able she's, to at least read the article. You took yeah, so she's article. got it already, Peter. Thanks. Okay, very good. But, All but right. if you awesome. send it to me, Peter, if you send it to me as a PDF, then I can send it to other people who are mentioned in there so that, yep. you know, can be yep. acknowledged. Also. You know, I, I have this giant to-do list, and somewhere towards the bottom, it says, write a message to the ed editor of the Canadian Rotarian because... I think the fact that we have the very first district governor from an e-club is something worthy of mentioning, but mm -hmm. we need somebody to write it. We need somebody to write that story. Yeah. We, still, I mean, we still have a year for that because that should be something that should be in the June issue next year. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Maybe mm. Nelson would write something for us. Mm. Oh, I'm sure we can find a story about him. <laughs> 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 Something else I wanted to mention is next January um, here in Antigua will be the um, Central American Rotary Convention. And I went to it five years ago, and it was one of the things that inspired me to find out about Rotary. And so when all of you come, if you come at that time, which is kind of a tentative schedule, then we could all go to that Central American Rotary Convention together. So what are the dates for that? I think it's January 22nd. Something like that. I have it on file. I have to look. And, and, and it's also the projects. It's more like a projects convention than anything else. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It is. But it would be a good place to, uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. to visit. And also, you know, maybe think about getting a table about the Lake Ata project. But I'm sure. Yeah, but that is real. Yeah. That's what we'll start working on in the next little while so that we can get particulars on, on uh, where to go and how to go about that. How yeah. about, about I'd, that? I'd, I'd like to discuss this with you guys a little bit more down the road. Well, not too long because we're interested in going and we, we're thinking about combining it with Machu Picchu and uh, the salt flats in Bolivia. See how okay, see sure. Yeah. And Judy and Ron indicated they would be interested. Jean-Michel indicated he's interested. Obviously, Vicky is there. And there may be others that would like to, uh, like to go down, uh, you know, as well. So I'm not sure whether I will be able to be, make it, but we will, we will deal with that and put it forward uh, when we have dates and, and, you know, we have to pick some dates and do that. So that'd be awesome. It would be awesome. Yeah. Well done. Good. And and what do you think about uh, the the um, you know setting up something and looking in your community as something that you could do in in your and and that's where we can serve a lot of communities because we are all are in, in different communities. Janet is obviously looking for something special for her island. <laughs> well, I've been talking. You have a project on the island, Janet. <laughs> I've been talking with the Rotary Club here because we used to do. Uh, a, ro a walk, you know, a, mar um, uh, a walk, what do you call it? Yes, mountain. around the lake. A walkathon, not quite around the lake, that's too long. But, uh, you know, do it and bring it out to the community and with pledges. And then if they, the people that participate, 50% of goes to their cause, cause whether it's, uh, hockey or whatever, and we can do it to the club or to polio or whatever. And um, that's one thing that can be done in any community pretty well. Absolutely. It's All nice kinds of things are possible. Online. Nosberto, Lu. Good. Yes. <clears throat> but we don't hear him. I always wondered no. if his first name was Lu. And the last name Nosberto, or is the first name Nosberto? Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Nosberto, and my last name is Lou. Okay, because ah. in many countries they turn it around, right? 
Yeah, yeah. And by the way, uh, you are more than welcome to go to Guatemala. I think I will be there on January uh, because I like to, now I like to spend the winter time in Guatemala. So, <laughs> gladly, gladly, I can host several people from uh, Canada e Club at home whenever you want. Very good. Oh, Thank you. idea. Yeah, we have to start planning soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, exactly which, which city, city are you in then, Osberto? Uh, right now, I am in Ottawa, but in Guatemala, yeah. I'm in Guatemala City, in the capital, uh, which is in like Guatemala uh, City. from uh, Dickie's place in Antigua. Okay, and that's we would fly in. Typically, you fly into Guatemala City always. Yes, yes. The international airport is in Guatemala City, and then an hour from Guatemala is Antigua. Yes, by road. Depending on the traffic. Yeah, depending on the traffic. Not to go on Saturdays uh, <laughs> uh, noon because it will take you a couple of hours, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, good day of the week at five o'clock. You're right. Okay, this is awesome. We have a such a strong connection with Guatemala that I think we can make make this uh, the Guatemala year, so to speak, right. and connect the world yeah. and connect the world good. to Guatemala. How's that? Yeah. You know, so. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. That's awesome. Good. Good. Anybody else? Has any other things we'd like to discuss? Where are we at time-wise? Well, Peter, I would like to just, um, first of all, welcome you as new president of this year uh, for the club. And uh, this is totally new to me uh, for each one of you. I just want to welcome each one of you into this new year of Rotary. And um, thank you very much for allowing me to work with you uh, to become your assistant governor. And I also want to thank Marilyn uh, for doing such a great job and uh, also connecting with people here in Edmonton and uh, starting a new club here. So I really appreciate that. And thank you for uh, the leadership of all the presidents in the past. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Simon. That is uh, very nice of you. And, and, and again, I'm quite sure the feeling is mutual with everybody. And uh, uh, we're glad we're glad we can teach you a few new tricks, you know, <laughs> of things that are new to you, uh, you. As, a, as a relatively new club in the district as well. So that's awesome. I'm going to I you know I'm going to stop. I think we're going to stop the recording, but we don't have to stop the meeting. I think this is the right time to stop the recording for others than uh, you know to see. Because Simon, we, we do, we keep our, yeah, go ahead. We, we keep our, uh, you know, download them and upload them onto our YouTube channel.